So I'm sitting there and I'm eating a cheeseburger. To see them, you'd think Barbara Simpson and Larry Bridges were old friends, even though they just met. Was that a cheeseburger from McDonald's? Is that why? <laughs> but they have something in common. They're cancer survivors, a family where it's okay to compare chemo. Uh, like I had the four cycles. Oh, yes. Yeah, you might as well You probably got I did. I did five. Yeah, that's probably, no, 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 six, six. And discuss who had which side effects. Having no appetite, like, mm -hmm. I, I enjoy eating. Appetite. And you can't, like, it's like, I want this, I don't want that. But, but, but you're really right. opposite. I think Larry I, is like, I, I think, think I may have gained weight on chemo. I think I may have gained weight. <laughs> Larry survived stage 2 Hodgkin's lymphoma. His treatment center had what's come to be known as a celebration bell. I had 15 people that were more, we're, you know, we're taking video, we're taking pictures, we're crying, we're hugging. And it was such a beautiful thing to see all this love that people was giving to each other. Not just me giving it to the staff, the staff giving it back to me, the staff giving it to each other. I mean, it's just one big love fest. And um, then that's when I found out that all hospitals don't have a bell. Two-thirds of the hospitals in America don't have a bell. And I went, what? So I said, you know what? I'm going to start putting these bells in different hospitals. That's what Larry was doing on this day, bringing a celebration bell for the staff at the UPMC St. Clair Hospital Cancer Center. We're brother and sister in this now. That's what this bell represents. Yes, it does. It is that hope. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a bell here when Barbara finished her chemo for breast cancer. They brought the certificate and they all gathered around and everybody clapped and cheered and, you know, we were all happy. My home away from home. Oh my God. But I kind of, you know, I've seen that before the bell. Like I actually saw Marty on TV ringing the bell when it was his last treatment. <laughs> that would have been nice to be able to do, so I'm really glad that Larry got involved and that they're going to install one here. And she'll be the first to ring it. You deal with life and death on a daily basis. And I take my hat off to you guys, and I salute you. Job well done. Here's the bell. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, the barb. I guess I'm your first victim first. here. <laughs> the plaque on the bell says to ring it three times. And I'm on my way. Three times. <laughs> With today's donation, another shoulder will have installed 11 celebration bells. Larry wants to do 50 this year and gives the credit to all his supporters. It's everybody that touches that bell. It's everybody that works in here. It's everybody that donates to my organization. It's everybody that prays over my bell. But I also do a traveling bell. I will travel. I mean, I, will, I have did um, some ceremonies at a church. Um, I'll... I'll meet you anywhere to do a bell ceremony. If you tell me that you never rang the bell and you have a loved one that never rang the bell and you want to meet me at McDonald's, I'll be up in McDonald's and we'll ring that bell. Oncologist Vincent Rise says you can't put a price on what Larry and his group are giving cancer patients. It is one of the most frightening words you could hear. So many people know someone who has cancer and any one or any little thing that can help you get through this makes such a huge impact on your life. And if it's just a small bell that you ring and you hear it and it makes you feel just a little bit better, it makes a world of difference. And as a doctor, anything that lifts the patient's spirits makes all the difference in the world for them. And that's what Larry wants to do, make a difference one fellow survivor at a time. All cancer survivors, we're our brothers and sisters and we have a job to do to tell other brothers and sisters that it's not over. Through God's grace and through the medicine and through the staff, you can make it. Congratulations. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, thank you so much. See, this, is, this is what this is all about. I mean, just right here is love and joy. And we're two cancer patients, and we're smiling.